right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now into our number two, and I want to open the phones up here on any issue we should discuss. But we're going to do first time uh, calls again today. I like to alternate first time calls. It's always nice to do wide open phones, but then folks wanting to plug things uh, or bring up idiosyncratic uh, issues uh, basically dominate the show. So that's why I do first time calls about half the time. We don't screen your calls, just first time calls. 800 259 9231 on all the news we just covered in the last hour. Or I love the wild card grab bag wheel of fortune. Uh, for whatever you want to bring up here on the transmission. Any questions, any comments, you name it, 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. If you just heard the last hour, we talked about Jenny McCarthy, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, uh, Big Pharma, the Canadian government, all coming out and saying, don't let her have a show on The View not because she's a communist, because she's not a communist. It's like the old Red Scare, but worse, because they really were communists, but it went too far. This is, you think vaccines might be dangerous. Everyone knows there's no problems, no side effects. I show you articles every year when the vaccine season comes around the start of school. There's zero side effects. They're conspiracy. And then I, and then I read the actual CDC side effect, you know, hundreds of pages on air. Hundreds of pages of it. Death, brain damage, autoimmune, uh, retardation. Uh, narcolepsy, epilepsy, on, on. I mean, go to CDC vaccine adverse reaction page. Don't believe me. Jenny McCarthy's crazy. She says vaccines might hurt people. Uh, she says fish might be in the ocean. The sun might come up in the morning. Bears might live in the woods. Birdies might live in trees and nest. Women might like to paint their nails. And Papa likes to drink beer. You never heard something that crazy, did you? Absolutely off the chart, cuckoo, cocoa puff, crazy. 800-259-9231. Okay, uh, where to start here with some of the news we've not yet plowed through today. I'm going to get this cop on. Look at this article out of reason. Cop fired for speaking out against ticket and arrest quotas. <clears throat> quotas have been known for decades and the police have been told to lie and say that there is no quota system folks the dwi police in austin make over a hundred thousand dollars a year while the other cops make forty thousand fifty thousand and that's why they pull you over been drinking well just get out here and walk. no probable cause get out here and walk around for me or if you had one beer they take you to jail it's because it's a big cash machine Nothing to do with your safety. Texting while driving is five times more dangerous. You don't need drunk driving laws. If someone's recklessly driving, it's a felony. You're crossing the lines repeatedly. They got a dash cam video or they testify to that. Then you've been drinking. Probable cause. We're talking five years in jail. That'll cut out drunk driving. Not having two beers when you weigh 250 pounds and come driving home. Now they're doing cheek swabs all over the country, Arkansas, California with no warrant and doing instant marijuana test. I've seen studies where marijuana drivers actually drive safer. Yeah, the slow lane, 10 miles under the speed limit. Marijuana heads. Yeah, let's 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 arrest them and charge. I mean, this is ridiculous. What about all the pill heads out there? On, on all these psychotropics and pain pills. Oh, well, if it's a prescription, then that's OK. But wait, the system's hungry. They're going after them now, too. So I want to get this guy on. This is Auburn, Alabama, is home to Sprawling Plains, Auburn University, and a troubling police force. After the arrival of the new police chief, the department entered an era of ticket quotas and worse. Yeah, you know why I like the Travis County Sheriff's Department? From what I've seen in it, they don't have a quota. I mean, you got to really be driving recklessly for them to give you, a, you know, to mess with you. Austin just gets worse and worse. And man, the state police, I mean, that is a cash machine. And now these state police aren't like they used to be. I mean, they pull you over there, they're, 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 and they'll even know who I am. But I've learned they do this to everybody. They're not singling me out. And you do any drugs? You got any alcohol? You on any kind of amount of I search the vehicle? And I just like just flip out on them. I mean, like I flip out like you know the government deals the drugs. Stop bugging your eyes out at me like I've done something wrong. 
I mean, it's just, it's a, the government, it's a narcotics trafficking murder gang. Stop acting like I did something. I'm sorry, I need to settle down right there at that point. <sighs> Excuse me. The country is completely overrun by the New World Order. And, and, and let me explain something to, to the police. No amount of tickets are going to keep the cities and counties and states going. They're run by city managers in almost every case. And I've had city managers of major cities on to admit this. 75% of the money or more goes into offshore banks. It's called the Comprehensive Annual Financial Report. The budget is less than a third of the real money. Everything's about the budget. They never tell you about the other set of books. It's sleight of hands. The money's all gone, folks. It's all actuaried, look up that term, don't know what it is, to bankrupt us. We will all go the way of Detroit if they have their way. I don't know how else to explain it to you except for lower Manhattan, Austin, Texas, San Francisco, Whitefish, you know, Montana, and a few other places, elite listed Agenda 21 uh, technocratic command zones. You're like, that sounds like... Hunger Games, yeah, that's science fiction, product placement, propaganda placement. They call it behavior placement. Years after I coined the term propaganda placement, uh, the, the feds call it uh, behavior placement. That's basically what they'd like to build. That's the plutocratic New World Order Club of Rome vision. The technocrat vision is even worse. Just get rid of everybody. The minute China has robots in for everything, they hit the virus button. Okay, just it's released. They're not building a technocratic system, though, to, 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 to just have dominance. They're doing it to replace humans. Then they're going to turn the robots off. And, and folks, this is not my opinion. I, I just cannot warn you strongly enough. You better go read what all the top futurists and globalists, from Ray Kurzweil to Bill Joy, right down the line. You better find out that what they're saying is actual policy. It isn't some pipe dream. And the technocrats have now merged with the plutocrats, and they have merged the program into a neo-feudalistic surf system, not to create a plutocratic endless surf system, a Hunger Games scenario, to bring in the robots, to implode the economies, to get full control over humans, and an artificial scarcity system. See, the robots and automation mean, we, according to all the physicists and researchers and academics that I've interviewed, and I, and I agree with their analysis, it's accurate, we should be working two days a week coming up with ideas to empower humanity, having giant corporate and, and, and public buy-in kind of uh, massive scale crowdsourcing programs. There should be a global crowdsourcing program for space stations. There should be a global crowdsourcing program for moon bases. There should be a global, and they've all discussed this. They could do this. You'd work two days a week. We'd be wearing... Frickin' aluminum outfits with jetpacks, folks. I'm telling you. And that's already what the globalists have, okay? They're just not giving you that. We're 2013, baby. We're in the future. Makes me so upset. Instead, the public wants their culture of bling. I don't care if you're a gangster type or one of these yuppies with their bling. You know, that's the perfect $50,000 bike. I'm talking about bicycle and the outfit and the country club and you're part of the elite. You're not part of anything. You're not part of the elite till you're an elite thinker for humanity. Nobody's elite joining the dark side. Lying to yourself thinking you're part of a winning operation. This is the most selfish, disgusting New World Order situation I've ever seen. See, one article just makes me go crazy because that's how I think. I know the cops are told that, oh, if you don't write tickets, we're going to go bankrupt. Oh, you know, there's a shortfall. They're like, all right, I'll go out and, you know. Cops don't go after bad guys anymore, folks. Because too much of the bad guy operations are run by higher level government groups being funded by corporations to turn a blind eye. That's on record. And that's why Chicago crime bosses and New York crime bosses and all these guys hate the fact the citizens have got guns because how are they ever going to fully take over and implode things and socially engineer us if we've got guns? How are they going to have race wars and collapsing societies when all of the you know, evil blue states and all of the evil red states, I'm being sarcastic, have to be played off against each other when it won't work if everybody's armed? The gangsters want our guns, 800-259-9231. And if you don't write tickets, you get written up and then removed off the force.
And now if you don't go and help the CPS take kids, you get thrown off the force. And now if you on and 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 on. And you get told, go out and violate people's rights. You know, we're doing it for their own good, blah, blah, blah. But you know that wealthy areas, they pull over a black guy driving a $100,000 Mercedes in a suit, the cops aren't going to violate his rights. They pull over a hundred. Yeah, you know, a $1,000 Mercedes with a white guy wearing an Armani suit. They're not going to violate his rights statistically because they know this guy's got lawyers. This guy knows what he's doing. Of course they're going to violate poor blacks' rights and poor whites' rights and Hispanics' rights because they're being told, do this. That's the fake macho thug culture the globalists are trying to social engineer in the police. And they know these people can't stand up for themselves and have no history of liberty, no history of freedom, no community. The government's the community. The government got rid of daddy in the house 50 years Years ago, and folks, there's no, there's not even a family, there's not even a culture. Daddy's MTV now. Flavor Flay is a young black ten-year-old's daddy. That's how you get in the million-dollar house. The ten million-dollar house is acting like an idiot. But in the real world, you don't go anywhere acting like Flavor Flay or acting like Kid Rock or all these other people. They create fake role models for you to destroy you. Destroto. Is that how you say it in Italian? We'll be right back with your phone calls, the NSA, and all the rest. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now, that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. All right, I'm going to go to your phone calls, and then I'm going to break down the traitorous House of Representatives rejects bid to curb spy agency data collection. It's admittedly illegal. They're recording everything. I have computers listening to everything. They're using it against Congress. They're using, they, they've tapped the phones and, 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 and have microphones in the cloakroom, the Supreme Court. It's all come out, and they're like, we're not going to pass a law to restrict that. There's already laws. And let me tell you, this is the moment in corruption where the society either wakes up or totally collapses. Because now it's all out in the open. I mean, it's, it's been in the Chicago Tribune and Associated Press that major defense contractors run child kidnapping rings and connected to snuff film groups. And it's like, well, they're a big defense contractor. That's what, that's what killers do. It's a business, <laughs> grabbing your kid out of the backyard. <laughs> I mean, and I'm looking at all this going, we got to do something. They're putting poison in the water. They're... they're they're, you know, they're, you know, they're trying to knock people off the air. They're, I mean, these are crazy people. And the worst of the worst, because we let them run things, get into power. They shove the others out of the way, and you end up with the most demonic people in control. And now the House is, we have to spy on every American. Remember, it's not about Al-Qaeda anymore. It's about the returning veterans and the gun owners. This is Twilight Zone, folks. And then I uh, have a lot of other news we're going to be getting into as well. But before I go any further, if you're a TV viewer, uh, anybody can watch the, the, the daytime radio show. is free at InfoWars.com forward slash show. Find the free podcast, the free uh, iPhone, Droid apps, uh, the Flash players, you name it. I mean, it's got every player you can imagine on there. For the show, InfoWars.com forward slash show. If you're a radio listener, you can go see this. Or just type in Bradley Manning Court and look at the photos of him when he's brought in and out of court through hallways they will have army soldiers in full combat gear with m with uh m4s and sidearms strapped to their legs 
with other people, private army security walking around, acting like the 100-pound man is going to kill everybody. And, and so th see, this is the new style. They told Chinese princesses 3,000 plus years ago, bind your feet where you can't walk, it's sexy. And by the way, wear diapers, you can't get up, we're going to change your diaper, it's sexy. Uh, and uh, you know what, don't even learn how to talk, it's sexy. Really, it was the inner priest class becoming the real emperors. And in every ancient culture, women got out of hand. They said, you know what? It's really sexy if you bind your feet up where you can't walk. <laughs> Just sitting there and shut up. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's trendy. See, women are really controlled by style more than anybody. And, and they, the high priests in every culture figured this out. Whether it was ancient Europe, China, Japan, Mesoamerica, wealthy women got out of hand. So you just learned to go, it's very sexy to not leave this house and wear a hood over your head and be chained up against the wall. And it's very sexy to have your feet bound up where you can't walk. Well, that's how it is now. The police have all got to have machine guns, and it's really sexy to have machine guns everywhere and checkpoints. And if you're having a party at the country club, have some cops with full combat gear out front. It's like, ooh, 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 it's like Jack Bauer is going to be there. Ooh. See, they're using the same thing where, gee, I wish we had a checkpoint. Gee, I wish we had a drone over our house. Gee, I wish we had some forced inoculation. It's like real manly now to not have rights. And then you're not allowed to have a gun, but there's just troops everywhere. Just, yeah. Remember in New York, if you go to New York, you just see cops in battle helmets literally making the most ridiculous faces you can imagine. Just like, Ugh. you're like, how you doing, officer? Ugh. Ugh. That's the new manliness, not being informed, not knowing anything, not being involved. Just drink your fluoride, take your GMO, roll over and die, hand your kids over to the state, but just lift weights all day and then just wear combat outfits and just stand there going, Ugh. And everybody just worships you. Oh, my God. Oh, the state's so powerful. Uh, uh, uh. And if you go to Mexico or Guatemala or Nicaragua or if you go to Romania uh, or you go to North Korea, you're going to see the same thing. People standing around with machine guns looking at everyone for just nine hours a day. The troops are on power trips because they're getting reflected at the power trip of the dress up. They dress up in the outfit. They're not fighting real armies. They're not fighting Al Qaeda. Their boss runs Al Qaeda. It's all simulated to take over. They're all under attack. They're losers. They work for the New World Order. They're being chemically warfare and biologically warfare targeted by the eugenicist program. They're going to die young. Their kids are going to die young. Their whole birthright's been taken. But you know what? They got uniforms and guns strapped to their leg, and they're standing around going, yeah, come on, Team Delta, Baker, Baker, yeah, yeah. we're going to run checkpoints and stop the drug running. That The globalists fly the drugs in. Then any competition that doesn't pay their cut properly, you get told to go raid. You're just schmucks. You're jokes. The whole thing's a game. The whole thing is just a complete police state fraud. The old days of cops were going in against thugs. They didn't even need bulletproof vests. They just ran in and kicked down the door. Nowadays, if there was a UT sniper, he'd be up there for nine days. The police would be down urinating on themselves in puddles on the ground. If citizens tried to fire up at them, the police would machine gun the citizens. I mean, the citizens are dogs! We're on the march. Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro-Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I-beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more. Coming in the month of June to the Info War. Street Journal has recently come out two days ago and admitted we're turning into a total police state and that militarized police wage war against an enemy, which makes us the enemy. Well, yeah, no, they now call us insurgents. It's now all insurgent control training. It's all, we live in Fallujah. We're all the enemy for our safety, of course. And it is a fetish uh, thing to, again, be a slave and be under the control of it. Your kids are trying to put their hands up, march out of the school. And again, I get the fact the average cop isn't a bad person. 
The average cop in North Korea might not be a bad person. It's just that we're going that direction. We know police in other countries, in most cases, it's out of control and they're thugs. Well, then why can't that happen here? It is happening here. And we've got Norm Stamper, the former police chief, has been speaking out about this and other issues um, from, of all places, Seattle. And he is going to be joining us, Norm Stamper, uh, coming up in the next hour, we'll talk about the drug war, all of it with him. I'm going to your calls in a moment. First off, I've told you about Monophylon. It is the best clean brown seaweed uh, that comes from the southern hemisphere where it's massively cleaner than northern hemisphere seaweed. The natives call it Kumba. And we have the lowest prices on Monophylon available at InfoWarsStore.com. So you win, 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 get a great product, help your body and support our transmission. So here on air, I'm taking my second dose, took one this morning, I'll take one now and then uh, tonight, of the uh, rich in so many key nutrients and minerals, but mainly the naturally occurring healthy iodine. Mmm. IQ Booster, major new study out, Business Insider reported on, and then now the totally non-GMO, pesticide-free, whole food, certified organic, Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, available at InfoWarsHealth.com. I like the old Beyond Tangy Tangerine, too. This is an 8,000 ORAC organic uh, uh, score that is off the charts. It's got everything in it you need, absolutely everything. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, InfoWarsHealth.com. I go out and I find the very best stuff. And then that is what I promote and how we fund our operation. So it's a win-win, win-win-win. You can sign up at InfoWarsHealth.com to get the lowest prices on the entire line of longevity products. The absolute lowest prices at InfoWarsHealth.com and sign up and get free shipping there on the site. You can also call the toll-free number at InfoWarsHealth.com to ask any questions or need any help signing up, or if you want to be a distributor, one-time $10 fee to get uh, your membership and get uh, discounts, 888-789-9277, 888-789-9277, InfoWarsHealth.com or 888-789-9277. You owe it to yourself and your family. And again, here is the new Peach Citrus Fusion. Even better than the original Beyond Tangy Tangerine, ladies and gentlemen, at InfoWarsHealth.com. And also my favorite energy drink that's natural and healthy and doesn't give you a speed hangover later. Uh, filled with all the vitamins and minerals and turbocharging you with some stuff from green tea. It, of course, is the Pollen Burst Plus with yours truly on the cover of it. InfoWarsHealth.com or call the toll-free number right there. Don't forget the new film uh, is out as well that we're distributing. And that's available at InfoWarsStore.com to wake people up. It is state of mind, the history of mind control, the present and the future. So important to see, and I'm in it, many others. Very important film. Uh, and you've got Homeland Security, Future Home, a former massive mental hospital used in MK Ultra control. They're adding on $4.5 billion mega torture complex. So that's where you'll be disappeared. It's got dungeons and everything for you and your family because, well, Criminals that want to run dungeons and torture people work for the psychiatric system and Homeland Security. Why not? Or else can you run child porn and snuff films and every crime under the sun and run narcotics into the country? And Pat Tillman speaks out against the narcotic trafficking. You just murder him and make up a story. I was fighting Al-Qaeda and it comes out. You don't get any trouble, you know. So, again, I just some we just got to admit how evil the, 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 the globalists are. They have infested all the major posts in the federal government. To the point of we're like, we're going to just have Congress vote to not restrict illegal spying. And they're like, yeah, we're having hearings about taking your private pension funds and public. And they will take it. Hell, the average person will give up their birthright and throw their kid into a blender. They could wear a military outfit and stand around with a machine gun scaring people. I mean, that's, that's being a man. <laughs> you know, not building something, not doing something, not raising your kids up, not being honorable. No. I mean, look at Mexico, man. They got thousands being killed every few months, checkpoints everywhere, black ski mask. That's manly. We're going to be just like Mexico, but better. Yeah, baby. Let's go to Carl in Washington. You're on the air, Carl. Thanks for holding. Yep, okay. Well, it sounds like you don't want to talk too much, Carl. Oh, I'm here. Hey, bud. I'm here. Look, you're here. Yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you, bro. Oh, okay. Hey, Alex, uh, I wanted to uh, make a couple comments. Um, first of all, the Paul Revere uh, uh, 
films or I haven't found a bad one yet. They're awesome. And um, are you still there? All right, caller, I appreciate your call. I just couldn't understand any of that. We don't screen the calls. I might have had a bad audio, uh, but I, uh, I I really appreciate you calling. Dave in Colorado. Dave, you're on the air. Alex, I've got about three, four uh, topics here. Uh, Friedenberg Convention. Why don't we have a Friedenberg? I like that guy's idea. Maybe we can organize enough people to where we have one subject at a time we really focus and concentrate on. Another one is, I don't know if you have a document database, so I can download some documents and get them out to people. Uh, I talk to people all the time. I mean, people are definitely waking up, ready to be awakened. I, I've gotten the feedback from it. Positive note on that end. Uh, globalist uh, amnesty program. Let's get these globalists in fighting amongst each other for a piece of life. Of course, we won't let them get very far or have any power but they can live. Uh, another one is uh, the Catholic uh, Catechism. I would like your comments on that, what it has to say, because I see a lot of freedom, uh, a lot of humanity there. Um, and uh, I'm not giving up. Never file taxes. Never will. I'm with Kokesh on that one. Disfund this organization. Your comment. Well, I don't know what we do at this point. I mean, the, 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 this has happened in history over and over again everywhere. We know where it goes. You get rid of checks and balances, rule of law. You become an immoral people. The very worst will take over because they want to exercise mass death. They want burning cities, piles of dead children, and, and normal people go, but I don't want that. That's not going to happen. They don't understand psychopaths, sadists, control freaks, demons, hell force. And, and so it gets released. And, and now the, the whole bottom's falling out. It's like, yeah, we're corrupt. Yeah, we bring the drugs in. Yeah, we're putting poison in your water. And the general public is so poisoned, they don't even know what's happening. God bless you. I appreciate your call. Yeah, I mean, you see attacks on all basic Christian religion because it talks about family and not having abortion and because God is above the state. And the state wants to be God, so it wants to get rid of its competition. Whether you believe in God or not, the atheists are like, we don't have God-given rights. The state gives us our rights, so the state can take it away. Even if you're an atheist, you should say, I believe I don't you know, get my rights from the state. I have an individual right. Well, they go, well, you're just an animal, actually. You don't have free will, so let us decide what you're going to do, because you know, free will doesn't matter. We just want to make the decisions. You don't need to make decisions. <laughs> you, you can't make decisions, but we're going to make them for you. It's all mind games. Good to hear from you. Uh, JB in Hawaii, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, good morning, Alex. I'm calling about uh, something interesting with um, the NSA Google connection there that you've been documented for years. Um, so I had signed up for the Google Voice, uh, which they, as you know, give free phone calls through integrated in their Gmail service. And for the longest time, I would get voicemail, you know, an email sent to my account saying you've got a voicemail from a random number that you don't know. And the voicemail might be one minute, it might be 15 minutes of people going about their daily business and you're being recorded and it's being transmitted by their cell phone and then it's getting sent to me for no reason. So at first I called saying, hey, did you call this number? No, what are you talking about? I've got, I just pulled them up here on my account for, you know, going back two years, dozens of these. Yeah, yeah, and let me explain what's going on. When you build back doors into the dishwashers, the computers, the smartphones, uh, all of it, 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 it puts added cost on everybody. And then it causes a lot of compatibility problems because everything is really built to spy and control you. And then it allows other third-party groups to break in and use the data. And then the government uses that as an excuse to get more power. Uh, and then they're using face scanning technology to tell if you're wealthy or not to then uh, charge you extra or to tell what you'll buy even if it costs too much. If you're poor, that's what the customer loyalty cards have always been about is to track your behavior so they can rip you off. I mean, it's all just a giant gaming system. People say, well, why should I be private? You know, I have nothing to hide. Well, then why don't you leave your house open at night? Because there's bad people out there. Well, it's the same thing. 
they 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 are using all this to have an advantage economically to dominate and control you and to figure out how to game you. The smart meters 20 years ago when they were coming out with them said we're going to control what's in your house, we're going to charge you at peak times, uh, and we're going to use this to increase prices. And they're now doing it. And, and, and so we're just saying, oh, we trust you, because it's bad to not trust people you don't know. See, you're supposed to trust people you don't know, trust the government, that's virtue, but don't trust your family. All the sitcoms, all the dramas, fight with your family, fight with your husband, fight with your wife, uh, trust the government. It's the opposite of how things should work. And so, yeah, I mean, you get calls on your cell phone where people are breathing, you get other people's voicemails, because it's all run through these big hubs now, and a lot of the compatibility problems, it just, it just compounds technological problems that everything is having snooping hubs put in front of it. See, um, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there, you know, that, um, or is it them, you know, right in our face with it? And if I could, just one thing I wanted to say, um, I agree with you that resistance is victory and you got to resist them every time you can. I always opt out. I always make a point to tell them you guys put the underpants bomber on the plane. Uh, they admit it. I pull up the, the documentation. I've got, you know, I've been there where the, the GSA come around and then I have to stay, you know, they have to either give you the pat down and then I'm forced to stand there right at the line and record, you know, the rest of the time there. Um, no, that's you know, it. They're teaching you that you're a suspect when, of course, the people running the country stage the terror so they can get tr trillions in no-bid contracts and take over society and spy on everyone and get away with bloody murder and invade whatever countries they want. Of course they did it. Of course they financed terrorists. I appreciate your call. Then they say, oh, you're saying there's no terrorist. No, there's real Muslim extremists. The point is the globalist funds them publicly. And do I get apologized to when all that gets admitted? No, I'm that much worse. Oh, I'm so horrible. Look, people have a decision to make. We're going to lose everything because we're letting corruption grow, or we can wake up and admit we're in trouble and try to turn the tide. But if the general public, not our listeners, but new listeners, people that are in denial, last night at about 9 o'clock I was still working, and I said, let's go get some food up at this local restaurant slash bar. So we're in there eating, and people are coming over, shaking my hand, People are taking pictures with us. So, you know, we were having a meeting about a film we're making. It was about 10 o'clock at night, and this guy sits down at a table. And he's just bugging his eyes out at me. You could tell he was like a trendy government type who thought he was the boss. And I just looked at him and said, oh, you're with the government. You're the boss. You're, you're looking at me in a sardonic way, and I'm supposed to feel small. And then he didn't like that and got up and went and sat down at the bar. And then I saw him turn and look as... Two guys with their beautiful girlfriends came over and were shaking my hand and saying hi and stuff. And it just made him really mad because he was seeing liberty was popular. See, they want to sell the idea of Jenny McCarthy's a kook. Don't give her a show. Ban Man Cow show. Get Alex Jones off the air. It's all peer pressure. And, 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 and because these are collectivists and they want to make you feel uncomfortable. Hey, I'm not uncomfortable when some cowardly piece of crap like you, excuse my French, uh, is sitting there trying to glower at me like that's going to shake me up. That just makes me work that much harder. And I worked till 1030 last night and went home. I slept good. We're going to beat you. You people are going to beat yourselves because here's the secret. You have a hard coding in, inside of you. You're evil on top. But deep down, you've got still got human instinct. You people will sabotage yourselves in the end. We've just got to resist so the collapse isn't too bad. So we're in place to pick up the pieces. You people are born to lose. You are a bunch of cowardly filth, and that's why you try to go get in groups to come dominate individuals. You hate winners. You hate beautiful people. You hate smart people, and you can go straight to hell, okay? I mean, you know, that's what it comes down to. You people have failed. Okay? You will fail. You know you're a joke. That's why you hate everybody, because you're so ugly inside. I know who you are. I know who you are. I can assess you, because I've got all my human instincts right there that the system works to turn off. I've got all my discernment. I've got all my intuition. I've got all my intellect. I've got all my history. I've got all my understanding. My only problem is I overheat. I get so angry, so frustrated. The caller goes, yeah, I heard you say the, that the um, 
underwear bomber was put on the plane by the government. I went and looked it up. It was true. Yes, yeah, C-SPAN, Detroit Free Press. I knew a month and a half before because eyewitnesses we had on air. And I already knew when the eyewitnesses were credible just from the way they, what they were saying, their history, who they were, and how they were talking, and the M.O. of the globalist. I knew that uh, the guests we had on that were witnesses to that bombing, that firecracker bombing. You have a firecracker bombing and some drugged up Mutalib's pants, and you get to roll in $5 billion in naked scanners the last three years. That's pretty good business. Boston Bomber's brother, CIA, on record. Back of the newspaper. They put him on the cover of the Rolling Stone saying he's guilty. The media spins it saying they're glorifying him. No, they're not. They're framing him. The guy already said I'm not guilty. They're probably torturing him right now. He'll end up saying he's guilty later. If they have to drug him up or electroshock him until he thinks he's the Hamburglar. This is a government that tortures on record. And they've put an NDA into law so they can tell special forces, you go kill that talk show host. You go kill My Michael Hastings. You go kill him. And you got the president's authorization right here. Yes, sir. What they don't tell you is they're going to kill you next. They'll kill you down the road and the big purge that's coming. And you all just think you're going to sell out to it and you're going to have some future. You're not going to have a future doing this. So I'm beyond you. I mean, I mean, that's really the best part about this is I don't care what you scum think about me. I don't care what you do to me. I'm committed and I know who you are and I see you. Are. And by the way, I can smell you. I can smell your spirit and boy, it doesn't smell good. They say angels smell like milk and cookies. You smell like a dead rat stuck in the ventilation system. You look even worse. Look at you people. Pathetic, I'm so glad I'm not you. I'm so glad. Thank God I'm not you. Thank God. Hallelujah. Be right back. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow uh, plum trees, grape trees. They will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. 
we can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. <laughs> I tell you, we got some great audio editors around here, but that who, uh, the folks that did that at that affiliate are just amazing. You guys like that? I like it. I am a love machine. Uh, you know, that's what happens. I do do this too much. Three hours a day running this whole thing. I just start flipping out because, I mean, I know they killed Pat Tillman. It's on record. I know they did the underwear bombing. We know the federal agency that got him on the plane. We know they run Al-Qaeda now. We know they're putting poison in the water. We know they're trying to break down the family. I mean, turn on the news. That's what that's globalist propaganda. Turn on a sitcom. All that anti-family stuff. I mean, this is sick. And it's just, I can't believe they're running all over us and we're putting up with it. And I, I can't believe Media Matters run by the White House. So I've seen their own internal videos they've put out. A bunch of college kids under White House people. You guys really have signed on to basically like Adolf Hitler? And you're like, oh, no, we're fighting the right wingers. Yeah, right. Sure. Mm, yeah, right. I mean, just such flaming authoritarians. And I just hope you enjoy what happens to you and your family at the hands of this. Remember, remember, you know, when your mom's 45 and gets diagnosed with cancer and uh, or, or you have a kid and they get the second round of shots and never talk again. You'll become a listener then. I can't tell you how many radio hosts, TV hosts, government people, FBI agents, billionaires, you name it, hear the show, laugh at it, and then get set up or their kid gets brain damage from a shot or they notice both their neighbor's kids have cancer and then their wife gets it. I mean, look, look, nobody's getting out of this, okay, <laughs> unless we turn around. That, that's what I'm telling you. There is no giving in to this. There is no selling out. It's like jumping into a pit of rattlesnakes and going, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a deal with them. There's no making a deal with this, folks. And I've said that a trillion times, but I just, it just comes back to me that I have gone kind of crazy, though. I mean, the stuff I talk about is real and true, but yeah, it, I, I, it's gotten to me. It's gotten to me, too, to just watch most people just go on by in a trance like it's no big deal. Let's go to your phone calls. James in Kentucky. James, you're on the air. Welcome, sir. Oh, thank you, Alex. Uh, first time caller. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, just a few things. Uh, I'd like to make a comment and, and then ask you a question after this. Uh, I, I'd like to see you do more mainstream TV. Uh, you know, I think that'd really help out, you know, to, to get, get the word out there. I know I learned about you on History Channel when you did that show with uh, Brad Meltzer. So I think that would just be huge to really open things up and getting people to know things. Uh, Here's the deal. If I do a Brad... Metzard thing, it's two days, you know, go to Bohemian Grove again, or I do that show on Masons, it's one day, uh, or if I, I mean, I've been on a bunch of shows. They offered me a travel channel show, and I said I couldn't do it, even though that was only a few weeks to shoot the season, uh, just because I've got to do the show, all this is to keep this running. I mean, you, you understand you can only serve so much. I can't do it all. 
it, it, it's kind of like I can't have two families. You know, I, I've got to like focus on what I'm doing. Yes, sir. I, w I would take whatever opportunity you could possibly in the future. I just think that that's huge, you know, towards getting the word out there. And then also, I I'd like to let people know that, that cannabis truly does cure cancer. And if they go on YouTube to run from the cure uh, with Rick Simpson, they can learn about hemp oil and how it truly does cure cancer. We need to really... Well, there's a lot of people that say they have cures to things. There are major studies showing hemp oil has amazing effects on on, on you know, not getting cancer as quickly and, and, and can help mitigate it. But I think saying things are cures. Hmm. All right, into hour number three. Ton of news coming up. Got the former Seattle police chief, Norm Stamper on. We all watched during the WTO riots. How about the drug war and a lot more coming up? Well, let's go to your calls here. Uh, let's talk to Kyle in South Carolina. Kyle, you're on the air. Go ahead. Thanks, Alex. Uh, two things. I just want to say what's up to uh, all the Cluminati's out there on Facebook, Cluminati Network. Check us out. And I want to apologize for my home state's representative, Mr. Lindsey Graham. And there, as an independent, there's... There's nothing to do about it because this, there's no Democratic Party really to speak of in the state. Yeah, but I'd rather you know, put a communist in than Lindsey Graham. You can take one look at that guy and tell that he's a homicidal degenerate. I mean, I'm, and, I, and I don't mean physically. He just looks like a raving demon. And the stuff he does, and that well, he said things about torturing people and we will get you and we will torture you. I mean, that is a creepy guy that I imagine dresses up like a clown in basements. I mean, I'm sorry, psychically, I, I'm serious. And I'm, I, got, I got the sense, folks. I mean, I hate to admit this on air. But all I see is him in a clown outfit doing horrible things. I'm sorry. Yeah. Guys, do you see that same thing? I mean, put that image of him back up. He screams, I dress up like a clown in basements. I mean, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, what, what is he beating the war drum again for? We ain't heard nothing from Iran, you know, about Iran in a couple because of Because that's months. demonic. Yeah. The demons that run his life, the, the, the clown demon, you know, oh, Lindsay, yeah. Uh, well, the clown demon, the clown demon demands more dead children. The only way he can legally get it done is a big war. When he talks about wars, he gets all excited and starts going, eh, eh. I mean, have you seen it? We ought to do a video on him. I'm not joking. I mean, that's definitely a demonic piece of trash right there. Well, he'll be here 100 years like Thurman if uh, he lives that long. <laughs> Lindsey Graham, that is a disgusting person. I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk bad about people. You can do it for him. I'm telling you, I appreciate your call, sir. He is our friend. Actually, I like Lindsey Graham. He's a wonderful person. Wants our guns, wants open borders. He's about like John McCain uh, and, and just as a total war. I've seen videos where he talks about torture. He goes, we will get you and we will do whatever we want. Uh, 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 and I'm like, uh, 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 uh. I mean, there's few people that want to just run jumping, you know, like out of my own skin away from him. Can you imagine? What's his wife think of him? Oh, he doesn't have a wife, does he? Maybe he's married to a demonic clown, actually. That's a little secret there. Uh, let's, talk to, let's talk to Keith. I'm sorry, former police officer. Let's talk about gun laws, he says in the comment. Keith, you're on the air, sir. How you doing, Alex? Uh, just want to thank you real quick. You're the one who woke me up so much so that I went ahead and on the, the 4th of July I opened my own website, and that's where my problem started. I start now feeling and experiencing in a small amount of what you must majorly experience. I've had the cops come to my door. I've had them take pictures of my trash cans, what's inside my trash. But the biggest slap in the face was when I had to go through D.C. recently. I can't carry my gun anymore legally in D.C. because I'm not, no longer a cop there. Um, I pulled up to a intersection, stopped at the light. Then I was recognized by someone on the side of the street as a cop. His friends started running over to the car. I went through the red light, got pictured through, or got caught on camera doing it, and after an appeal process of trying to, you know, explain why I went through the red light and everything, the DMV has decided that doesn't matter if I was trying to save my own life, I still went through the light, and I have to pay them $150. Well, well, let me break down what happens. They really target former military and police, as they admit. Any purge does that. Hitler, Stalin, Mao, they all do that. And, uh, you know, I would sue them over getting in your trash. I would go follow them around 
Because, you see, it's actually when you're small at first is when they try to scare you off. So you don't grow into, you fit a profile of a leader. And so that's why they do that. And, and the answer is intensify what you do 10 times and, um, you know, just basically seethe with resistance and, and just wake people up and stand up for freedom and liberty. God bless you. More calls coming up and more news. Stay with us. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show. In Michigan, Ryan, you're on the air. Thank you for holding uh, today to be on the broadcast with us, Ryan. No problem, sir. Um, I just want to uh, warn everybody out there about that uh, Gardasil vaccine. I had uh, got it before I went to college. And then once I got to college, I started getting real sick a lot, like probably two or three times a month, just like stomach bugs and everything. Then I find out I have uh, cardiomyopathy, and, and now it's going to be, it's, it's just crazy. So I'm in the process of uh, seeing doctors and uh, right now, so I just wanted to warn everybody out there about that, you know. Just don't put things in your body that you don't know what it is or what the hell they put in there. So it's caused me a lot of heartache, a lot of money. A lot of time. So. Yeah, they, they, they come out with guilt. They say, turn your guns in or you cause Sandy Hook. Uh, they come out and they say, support government-run health care. You're a racist. And people go, okay, I support it. And, and they've come out in the last two years and said, men need to take this. You're, the, you're giving women this virus. And then the vaccine says it doesn't even protect you from the virus on the insert. And it killed people in the trial. And it's, it's, been, it's been banned all over the world and but it's still here because we believe i mean why did you get the gardasil shot um because the doctor told me that it would uh protect me against uh stds and uh i never got all three of the shots i only got two of them and then i left for college so and then it's like my mom works for GE Capital. You know, my brother was a veteran. I'm a typical American, middle class, you know. Yeah, well, I you need to job. sue Gardasil. Thousands of others are. And, uh, I mean, they knew full well what they were doing. They knew they couldn't put it on the market because all the deaths. So they just had the government mandate it. And, and, and it's just terrible. God bless you, sir. And I'm sorry to, sorry to hear that happen to you. Please warn everybody you can. yourselves what are you doing in this time of great challenge what are you doing to unlock minds 